all right what's going on guys welcome to another video in this video we're going to be doing some ship lab this is peel and stick ship lab we picked it up from home depot it's from the scott brothers this is the one that we got here i'll put the link down in the description but it's scott living self adhesive new wallpaper textured surface um pretty good uh, product so far it's just a little tricky you just have to make sure that the cut the pieces that you cut if you especially if you're going to go the width of the of the wallpaper you have to make sure that you cut them and that they line up so that then the patterns line up we had to we learned that the hard way of how not to do it so you see you kind of want the lines to line up and then the pattern keeps flowing all the way through so I already did this side. That's actually two pieces, um, which I think it looks pretty good. If you look real closely, you can see where it was lined up. Uh, and as I mentioned, this it's a little tricky, but it is possible. I am using a sharp. Key is sharp utility knife, um, a smoothing tool for you know just regular wallpaper. And then I'm also using this little putty knife to get into the corners because I am I'm not taking the we're not taking these um this little molding off we're actually getting the the wallpaper under the molding um so I'm using that putty knife and you'll kind of see how I'm using that as I go through and one other thing tape regular black tape this is duct tape literally duct tape I don't even know this is just in my garage since th these this is from our RV from our trail manor since these aren't necessarily straight um I, I normally what i've been doing is just kind of overlapping it and then i'll cut it down I'll trim it down after um and then you know you kind of go the length and you go over it over the side here and then what i'll do is i'll end up just cutting along this line i'll use the tape to hold it in place or sometimes my wife comes out erica comes out and she helps me um, but the biggest thing was making sure, especially like I mentioned, if you're going to use this product, you see is if you're going to go the width of this, you just have to make sure that the piece that you roll before you cut it, don't make the mistake that I made before you cut it, just make sure that the two pieces are lined up and then make your cut and it'll make your life a little easier. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna attempt this one by myself since I already got through the first half of it and hopefully it comes out the way that I want. So, let's go. As you can see, I overlapped the molding, but then that's when I'm just gonna go along the lines with the utility knife uh, after. So, um, pretty smooth. As I mentioned, you, you probably wanna have something or someone hold it. I think the tape was a little easier just so that it just stood in place and then I could roll it out. And then I did it in sections. So as I went through each individual section, I was making sure that I was squeezing out the bubbles and as you can see there's there's only bubbles here on the side and that's because I still have to just cut this piece off along this ledge yeah once I get that that bubble will come out and then we'll kind of get it under the molding so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this side now finish off the whole panel uh, and then I'll go around with the knife and then do just those you know those final touches here
so here's what I'm now that I've already cut around the whole thing what I'm using the little putty knife for is again just to press it down on the edges make sure that we get it um, under the molding for the most part it's already there pretty clean cut fortunate enough I think uh, I learned my lesson from the first one that I did the first side all right so there you have it final final uh, result here not bad not bad um, I would say it's a little tricky it's a little trickier than it and it seems um, if you can I would say maybe even try on a small section first before you go off and you tackle like a whole big panel or something like that but overall I think I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the way that it came out uh, I'm super excited to see what it looks like once we get it inside of our RV but yeah it looks good so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up give me a leave me a comment down below if I could have done this a little easier or if there's a different solution because there is a couple other projects small projects that we want to tackle leave them down in the comments below if this helped you again leave a comment down below if you're doing a project let me know down below I'll check out yours as well um, but until next time thanks guys see you later